given their first choice that everyone would choose status quo. Uh, but budget issues, uh, uh, changes in state law regarding the state and local government fund and state taxes, uh, and changes to the foundational funding for education um, have led leaders to a different place where they have to find um, other opportunities to find efficiencies uh, in order to preserve critical programs. The biggest change that we've had is a tremendous downturn in state funding. Uh, we started out somewhere in the 30 to 40 percent of our funds came from state sources and today it's down to less than 10. Well, I think we need to start with the, the pace in which technology is changing, which is impacting all of us. And so the expectation is set, so governments need to um, provide that level of service as well. If you're a finance official, you should always be looking for opportunities to save money. And in my opinion, as a, as a finance official, you, this is not a conversation you start when things start going badly. Uh, shared services is um, people that are part of a uh, like-minded entity that have the, the same concerns, the, uh, the same trials and tribulations that you do, and are, are looking to maintain a, a certain level of service. We don't operate the city as if we're operating a business because the, the taxpayers will tell you what level of services they want, they're willing to pay for, and they expect from the community. So if we find a like-minded partner that is interested in uh, uh, maintaining some services at a favorable pricing, that's who we want to talk to. And ironically, and I know you don't expect to hear this from a finance director, but saving money is the, is the least, um, least important. The, the most important is to develop a reputation as uh, a community that has city leaders that are, that are open to sharing services um, with, other, with other member communities. And the um, second advantage of that is that, um, as in this case with IT, you may start out with something small, and then when you develop that reputation, then um, you may be invited to participate in, in other ventures. But, and then the third thing from a finance director point of view is to um, reduce um, the, the growth in, in expenditure. Fourthly, and um, if, you're, if you have the good fortune of actually saving money, that's terrific. Well, it was a long process, <laughs> but it's, <laughs> it started with the, uh, an organization called MORPSI, uh, the uh, Mid-Ohio Regional Planning Commission, um, and, and uh, several meetings they had of, of fiscal officers where I presented uh, the prospect of, of, of a study uh, where we assessed the IT capacities for a, 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 a cross-section of, of political subdivisions and not just limited to local governments and schools, but also including the metro parks, uh, the, uh, uh, the ITC in the education space, the ESC here in central Ohio, um, and, and, and a variety of local governments uh, that, you know, that represented various stages of IT sophistication and need. Uh, from a township with three servers to uh, a data center uh, you know, in, up in Westerville, that's a public-private partnership with significant capacity. And the point was this, was we wanted to uh, assess the, the capacity partners for their ability to expand and leverage uh, their capacity economically uh, for smaller partners. And not necessarily limited to these nine participants, but we chose these communities and these organizations so that we could, uh, we could draw some realistic in conclusions about uh, the ability to leverage larger partners in the Franklin County and you know three county area uh, to the benefit of the smaller partners which is like the townships and the villages and folks that probably shouldn't be in the business of managing IT infrastructure. Our biggest hope is that the conversation does not die. There are quite a few opportunities that exist out there within the partners uh, whether it be taking a look at those that have needs, matching them up with some of the capacity partners, or even within the capacity partners of figuring out how can I be more efficient in what I do. It's, it's taking the resources that I have available to me and matching them up with someone in need, which to me is the true spirit of what this project was all about.